Peggy 16. I always wanted to be a boxer. No one else wanted to be a boxer. I was maybe six or seven years old and I said to my dad, you know, I want to give it a go. No one in the family box, but he took me down the gym. I was a little bit too young, so I started kickboxing first and, and that was great fun. And from the age of 10, I started boxing down here as well. Yeah, just knew I was good at it. Knew it's what I always wanted to be and, and dedicated myself to it. And I'm here now. Always wanting to be a world champion when I started boxing. It was the, the dream, the goal. And I remember as a kid having this little plan mapped out in my head, you know, Tyson was world champion at 20, I'm going to beat that, I'm going to do this. And you know, as you get a little bit older, you realise you need to be a little bit more realistic. I'm 26 now and in a few months time I'm going to be uh, a world champion. So that's not my, my dream fulfilled. I won't uh, be finished there. I'll still be ploughing on for the bigger and better things, but certainly always wanting to be world champion. Once I go into camp, it feels like I have no time. So I'm in the gym twice a day. First session maybe takes three hours, so I'll get up, have my breakfast, head in for about 9, 10 a.m. Session done by lunchtime. And then I've maybe got an hour or two to, to kill before the next session. I like playing Call of Duty. It's, it relaxes me, as I say. It's a, a good way to zone out from boxing. I'll um, try and use the skills that I've picked up in boxing, a bit of hand-eye coordination and, and stick that into the game and see how I get on. And if I was playing my brother or someone that actually mattered, then yeah, I'd be digging deep and making sure that I win. Otherwise, the Xbox would go out the window. With this fight with Carl Froch, there's not one thing that would be left to chance. If I decide to do something, it would be for a reason. If I decide to say something, if I decide to throw a particular punch, absolutely every little detail is perfection. And for that reason, it's everything for a reason.